technology, you'll get quicker growth and more water absorption than other leading brands. And with fast acting Quickie Lawn Fertilizer and new Quickie Patch for those troubled areas, you'll have a perfect looking lawn in no time. Hey! Hey! Looking good! <laughs> Get your quickie today. Just ask for it by name, Quickie Grass from Canada Green. Trucker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Forbes Hewlett Transport, don't follow, join. Diesel Spec, engine tuning experts. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, Trucking the 401 Corridor with Blade Law Tank LP. And our coolest segment, Rig of the Week. But first, we're meeting the team at Challenger Motor Freight. Technology is a big part of the change in the, in the industry. The, the change in the engines, the change in the, the technology available to the drivers in cab has changed drastically over the last few years and I believe will continue to change. Uh, regulations are constantly changing with the hours of service, it's different things like that, the foreign worker programs. I mean, everything is, is moving, it's moving faster than it ever has and I believe it will continue to do so. We have an on-site simulator that we use for training and development. It's manned every day of the week and drivers come in for various training, uh, upgrading their skills, etc. So All our drivers go through the simulator at some point during their, their uh, employment here at Challenger Motor Freight. We evaluate new drivers when they come in. Every driver goes through it, evaluate their driving skills, try to identify any weaknesses or areas of improvement we can go in. After that period, drivers are subjected to go into it at least every year where we reevaluate their skills. And of course, if a driver is involved in an on road incident, we bring them back into this area for remedial training purposes as well. What we're trying to identify is what happened to the driver. We're trying to identify what caused that incident. And of course, we use that information to try and expand that and create some awareness overall our entire driving force to prevent any other driver from being involved in a similar incident. We try and recreate the driving experience as best we can. Uh, of course, we can't replace it completely, but it allows us the opportunity to put our drivers in situations and educate them on some of the things they may be subjected to out in the field and do it here in a safe environment that doesn't cause any risk to either the drivers themselves or the general motoring public. We can control snow, fog, ice, wind direction. We also have the ability to control some of the functionality of, of the truck itself. We can blow tires for a driver. We can overheat engines, make sure he's watching his gauges correctly. So if we have an incident that we've experienced out on the road, we can actually replicate that experience here, not just for the driver who was involved in it, but as I say, to create some awareness for other drivers as well. The driving standards have changed over the years. The traffic out on the road is certainly much denser than it was before. The nature of drivers is certainly more aggressive than it ever has been previously. And drivers need to develop and modify their skills as those changes take place in our, in our workplace. I was a little kid in grade school, grade five or six, and sitting in class drawing pictures of trucks, and I, and I didn't really imagine that I was going to become that, but I thought trucks were kind of cool. 
And uh, years later, after selling the business, I thought, well, you know what, maybe I'm going to go and give this a shot. And it was a lifetime dream. And, uh, and all of a sudden, it was an opportunity for me to go and do that. And that's exactly what I did. I was driving uh, full-size battle tanks and everything on down to Land Rovers. So it's a good bit of experience there. I, I learned how to drive in Army School of Transport in Leckenfield, England. I learned to drive it in a big army truck. And then I came to Canada and had to do my truck license all over again and learn a different set of rules. And also in North America, we have a winter con to contend with, such uh, like I've never ever seen before. I've been at this a while now and I'm still learning every, t every single time I go out on the road. There's always something new to learn. It's a job that does definitely demand a lot of your attention, and you really do need to stay focused at doing this. The simulator is a, is a great tool for us to, uh, to uh, help drivers reach some of their goals. Occasionally what will happen is a, a, a driver will be in, in the simulator, and they will crash. So the good thing is, is we can uh, come back in time, we can recreate that scenario, and we can discuss what went right and what went wrong, and we can replay that scenario, and uh, hopefully we can get a little bit of education happening. You know, as humans, we will become complacent over time. You know, maybe we we don't um, apply a correct following distance, and in this uh, simulator machine here, we can see what's happening and recreate it, and maybe introduce a little bit of different behaviour. Everyone gets lazy over time. It's part of human nature. So again, we can use this tool as a corrective remedy and hopefully uh, it will help to get some of our drivers home safely to their family our freight there on time and the motoring public is large we say when we come back our coolest segment rig of the week Diesel spec, diesel engine tuning experts, fuel efficiency leaders, safely improved fuel economy. Diesel spec will save you money. Welcome to Trucker Television. Or if you want horsepower, community leaders sponsoring truck and roll on car. Diesel spec, worldwide diesel engine tuning experts. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. Every type of cool car, all the car clubs. Artistry and iron motorcycles. Who has Canada's coolest big rig? The Trucker Television Show and Shine. Swap meet, farm equipment, boats. Be on Trucker Television at RPM Havelock, the show that has it all. 12 gauge customs, award winning trucks, big rig chrome and accessories, shop online or call, 12 gauge customs. Late Lock Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted. Late Lock Carriers Tank, our people and our equipment set us apart. Closed captioning by, join Biker TV at Duke's 10th Anniversary Party and VON Ride. When I woke up in the morning, found a note at the foot of my bed.
I'm George at Forbes Hewlett. This is a 2006 uh, Peak 379. It's just got about a million three uh, kilometers on it right now. It's uh, an ex-highway unit of ours. We made into a tow truck just to help survive the economy here when our trucks break down, keep our drivers rolling, and let us repair our trucks in our own facility. I know I'll save a fortune on your spinach, please, while it's lemon to it's running a 3406 Cat. It's got a 13 over in it and been turned up, so it runs right around 700 horsepower, maybe a touch more. We've got a bunch of lights on this thing everywhere, shining underneath at night and whatnot. We don't want it to be uh, too flashy with lights on the outside. It looks like everything else, but uh, you know, the uh, rig at the back's got lots of lights on it so that it's uh, really visible when you're towing something and the safety is a big issue that way with the lighting. So the other big feature, I guess, is these uh, customized airbrush fenders. The truck has got this skull theme to it. The shifter is sculled, you know, inside the dash. Everything's all chromed inside and whatnot. Pretty much a uh, little bit of uh, detail like that, but mostly it's a, it's a, it's a real good 379 feet. Double beds, flat screen TV, microwave, pretty much what most guys have in trucks today. I drive it, but I also have another guy that uh, helps me out when I'm kind of busy here at the uh, yard. So. Uh, Bob uh, will drive it if I'm not available. It's just a, it's a good working truck, let's put it that way. After the break, trucking the 401 corridor with Blade Law Tank LP. Herb Transport. Good people, good living. Now hiring company drivers, owner operators, and technicians. Employer of choice. Call to find out why. Herb Transport. Another cool move. Advanced welding techniques. Training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Time to trick out your big rig? Check out ZZ Chrome's huge inventory of high-end chrome and stainless accessories. Bumpers, visors, pipes, LED lighting, and more. Plus custom fabrication and installation. Find us online at zzchrome.com. In 2004, my wife died of cancer. And during that time, the five weeks that she was home with me, we needed services in order to provide that quality of life that she needed. We all crash. The VON are there for us. Let's be there for them. VON is an important part of our community. I had an experience with them with my parents before they passed away, so they were a big help to them and our family too. Come ride for a great cause. Diesel spec diesel engine tuning experts, fuel efficiency leaders, safely improve fuel economy. Diesel spec will save you money. Welcome to Trucker Television. Or if you want horsepower, community leaders sponsoring truck and roll on car. Diesel spec, worldwide diesel engine tuning experts.
Ah, you need all the cement, part of the cement. We're gonna go to St. Mary's Cement, pick up a load. 2003 Peterbilt. The frame's all stainless steel, like fuel tank stainless steel, like the battery box stainless steel. I gotta do all my circuit check, which I just done there. Now I gotta put the mileage down and tie everything up here. We're good to go. If something happened, it's right there. Usually, they pass you here in a double line. Like what? Why they, uh, like we get to tent through there, the light, they sit, the light, they, they don't gain nothing. I don't know why they, they gotta be so fast. I had my own, when I was 1984, I had my own truck up to 99, 1999. Then I, I was 65, I didn't think I wanted to drive no more. I don't play golf, uh, I don't hunt, I don't fish. I like to do something. I was uh, CBM a long time ago, I was loading truck then. But, and uh, every time come, a truck comes there, I just, just love it. So my first truck with Peter Belt, and I, I buy three more, and I, all Peter Belt, and I come work for Layla, he gave me that Peter Belt. I didn't go to school, so I had to, had to do something. California to Vancouver, Vancouver to Newfoundland. I don't really want to do it no more. Like, I just soon be local now. I mean, I got a nice place to sleep there, but I just soon, I just soon go my own bed. See, now I was 25, I'd be going here like 90 miles an hour. I gotta get there. For what? I don't know why, but I had to get there. Look, look today. Put the clues on. I wish it was like that when I was 25, just to relax. I could. I'm still learning today. I'm 68 years old. I'm still learning. You gotta be awful nice when you pull liquid. Like cement that don't move, just sit there. Easy work, like it's easy for me. Just hook the hose up and you unload it. Like flatbed, chain and top, you know. It's easy thing. You gotta make sure the air pressure's in there, like it's very, very dangerous. If you ain't hooked, you gotta make sure the air is gone all over. Because it's uh, only five pound air that just kill you. I'm gonna do a lot more shifting and coming home with a load on. You shift still. You then you gotta put the air, uh, like I got three, uh, like, Two axles in the back of the trailer, you got to put them up when you turn. That's how I put them up over here. If you don't turn put them up, it's uh, you break the trailer, break the axle. When the time I usually just back off. I, I get a trip to Texas or, uh, you know, Florida. Just spend a couple weeks there and come back. Soon, Pretty soon the window's over. 
probably not a year I'll be done. I'll be 70 here pretty soon. I, I think I'm gonna pack them in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it in one more year. After the break, trucking the 401 corridor with Blade Law Tank LP. Herb Transport. Good people, good living. Now hiring company drivers, owner operators, and technicians. Employer of choice. Call to find out why. Herb Transport. Another cool move. 12 gauge customs. Award winning trucks. Big rig chrome and accessories. Shop online or call. 12 gauge custom. New line spray suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of new line fenders and be on national TV. New line at truckertelevision.com. New line spray suppression. Enjoy the ride. We'll take care of the rest. Challenger Motor Freight. Now hiring owner-operators, drivers, apprentices, and licensed mechanics. Challenger Motor Freight. Our people, our strength, our future. Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Ontario Truck Driving School. Laidlock Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner-operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings, and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? What time is it? Uh, it's two, 3 o'clock now. It's 3 o'clock. Jerry and Mike, they operate one of our double man trucks. We call them double man or slip seating. Uh, that's basically two men, one truck. It works uh, pretty good with Mike, yeah. Uh, he keeps it clean and I keep it clean, so in that respect, it's uh, pretty good. Mike comes in the yard and as he's doing his paperwork, I go around and uh, check the oil levels and, uh, and the hubs and the tires and the uh, check for air leaks and things like that, do the whole pre-trip. And by the time he's usually done, I'm, uh, I'm ready to go and he's out of the truck and away we go. One of the biggest keys to double manning a truck is communication between the two drivers and the dispatch team. Breakdowns and, uh, and holdups need to be communicated so that nobody wastes time. Oh, are you working tomorrow? No. Okay, well, it don't matter then. I ain't gonna rush. I'm just drawing my line here. If it needs the maintenance, I get it in on a Sunday, like on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning they do it. Uh, if there's a breakdown, well, that we can help that. We usually switch trucks and trailers. I've been with Lady Lot 21 years. They got lots of day cabs around here the slip seat. I've only been driving for a month. I'm a new driver. It's a nice change of pace and I don't have to slug it real hard all the time and now I can just sit here and, and uh, you know, I'm not my own boss literally, but in a sense I am, right? I, I just work on my own and at yeah. my pace and uh, everything seems to be going good so far, you know? I'm not saying trucking's easy. I'm just saying it's a different change of pace, that's all. I was a full-time spray foam applicator, standing on ladder planks, spraying garage ceilings, 
you know, just the same shifts, 12 hour days, right? And, uh, you know, you get pretty wore out pretty quick. I did TTC and uh, it was a good course, you know. The instructors there, good guys, and, and uh, I learned lots, you know. I'm definitely not regretting that I did that. I, um, you know, I learned a lot. In the month I've driven for Laidlaw, the driver I am now, I learned from Laidlaw. Fill up my daily log and uh, say hello to Jerry, right? And basically just check over the truck, make sure all the wheels have got appropriate amount of air and the bolts are tight and check the oil and um, check my, my speedometer and write down my mileage and, you know, and, and get going. I'm heading down to Mississauga to load up and then uh, and then I head back, head down to Detroit and unload there. It's just over the border. We run a gross weight of uh, 60,000 kilograms and right now we're weighing at about 18 and a half, 19,000 kilograms empty. So I'll put in pretty much 40,000, 41,000. Usually no more than 41 though. So, you know, I'll, I'll take down 41,000 kg of cement. Doing the night run like this, there's not as much of a weight at the border. You know, typically where I'm getting hit is tr rush hour traffic getting out of Burlington. Cause it's Mississauga, right? So, uh, you know, I might be an hour to an hour and a half just to get from Burlington to the top of Hamilton Mountain. But I mean, I'll get down to the border and I may only be 15 minutes. As in where Jerry, he'll load up, he'll be out of Burlington and to the top of the mountain within a half hour. And then he may have to wait to get over the border for an hour. Nothing close to me. But you got to think about oncoming vehicles, and the thing is, is cars don't care, eh? It seems like Monday was just yesterday. You know, this week's flown by. It just, uh, you get going, right? get doing your thing and you know some people you know they say I can't believe you're getting into trucking and it's like well I, mean, I don't know what I want to do to be honest right so this is this is just uh, an adventure I'm going down right now and so far I'm, I'm liking it and uh, like I said I like being able to get home every day want fancy new fenders Show off your truck on national TV. Email us a picture of your truck and we'll enter you into the second annual New Line Fender Contest. We all take pride in our rides. Send Trucker Television a picture of your truck. You can win a set of fenders just like this. Next week on Trucker Television, Forrest Hewlett Transport, the RPM Truck Show that has it all. First annual New Line Fender Contest winner at 12 Gauge Customs. Rig of the week, a cool 1995 Trans West 379P. Trucker Television is brought to you by Chrome for Kids Truck Show and Shine, supporting Children's Hospital. Bryson Insurance, your partner in success for family and business. Be on Trucker Television at Truck and Roll on Curl. Tonight on the CHCH Sunday Blockbuster. Who are these men who feed on others?
This killer will be caught. I'm a policeman. Homicide. Do you want to know a secret? Nothing stays buried forever. The Black Dahlia, tonight at 8. TV is brought to you by Parts Canada Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Join Biker TV at Summer Ride, Summerside PEI. Advanced welding techniques, training for your success. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, we're hanging with the Canadian Pickers, checking out the Captain America bike. The second annual VON Poker Run. More Flat Track Canada. But first, more of the 10th annual Wharf Rat Rally. Daddy, what is God? This week on Biker TV, we're in beautiful Digby, Nova Scotia for the Wharf Rat Rally 10. Food's great, people's fantastic, and a real good time. Doing a great job raising money. We're over 42,000 raising money, and our share, of course, goes to the kids for the Shriners. Tell us about Speed Tricks. Oh my god, we've been around for 16 and a half years now. Uh, worked in six days a week. We're uh, halfway between Montreal and Ottawa, a little bit closer to Ottawa than Montreal. What's new? Anything and everything. Anything that you can draw on a napkin uh, can be done. Uh, whether it's sheet metal, motors, transmissions, fiberglass, we'll do anything. We run up four of our bikes to show the uh, nice folks in Bigby what we do down near Montreal. Uh, we got a Road Glide right here, 2011, all decked out. We've got a bobber with a supercharger on it. Crazy ride. We got another little bobber there, a nice lime green job. And we got a long pro street over there with a 300. Is there like a certain style that you guys have or it looks here like it's a mix mash of just about anything? Everybody is different, so all the bikes should be different. Yep. Nothing should be redone twice. This here is the tattoo he has on his shoulder. So we built the bike around his tattoo. Okay. So I see there this one here got first place here at yeah. Warfront Rally. We're very happy about that. Yeah. I gotta show you the boxes. Yeah, let's see the box. Can you introduce yourself? Can you say your name? Ryan. And, and who's your dad? Sean. And who's, who's, what's dad's company's name? Sean's Customs? Yeah, yeah. Sean Rostock's Customs. So you guys have been coming to Digby for how long? This is our fourth year. Okay. Yeah. So what keeps you coming back? Uh, just the, the people, uh, the atmosphere, everything, like uh, the food. Uh, we get to see friends that we don't get to see for 